It is one of the most heated battles at the Capitol this year. Should seat belts be installed on school buses statewide? News Channel 5's Chris Conti is following this closely. And Chris, advocates are not backing down. They are not doing that, Rory. They are doing quite the opposite, pushing ahead hard with this legislation that has failed multiple times in the past. Tragedy is why some lawmakers are pushing for seatbelts to be put on school buses statewide, but money is why it might not make it through. An issue of this magnitude uh, merits a lot of uh, discussion. Nothing could seem less controversial than a school bus, but at the state capitol, nothing is safe from controversy. I just think this is bad policy. You can't sit here and say that we that it will cost more lives. It's already costing them. Today, it was lawmakers in the House Education Committee tasked with examining a bill which would mandate all school buses in Tennessee purchased after 2018 be equipped with seat belts. Who is going to, number one, make sure those children are are put in the seat belt. It is not a bad bill and it is not a dangerous bill. Representative Joanne Favors is sponsoring the bill. She is from Chattanooga, where six young children died last year after their bus flipped. Restraint systems do save lives and minimize injuries. The bill would cost about $12 million. Some lawmakers have balked at the price tag, to which Representative Favors says this. Come up with the best bill that we can probably have that those lives in Hamilton County, Tennessee, Woodmore Elementary School children, that their lives were not lost in vain. Unless you've sat down with the parents who lost children and you've had to look at the pictures of the bus that was stood up and the blood running down the side and know that kids lost their lives, you can't sit here and say that, we, that it will cost more lives. Nothing seems less controversial than a yellow bus. Around here, though, nothing is safe from controversy. If there is any indication of how controversial this bill is, it is the fact that discussion went so long on it today that they had to delay voting on it until next week. Representative Joanne Favors, though, says she is not backing down. We, we are live at the Capitol this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Chris, thank you.